Welcome to the Geospatial channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate NDVI using Sentinel 2A image in Google Earth Engine. So now let's get started. So we're going to calculate a normalized difference vegetation index using Sentinel 2A image. So now let me show you the data set here. So this is our data set. We're going to use this particular data set to calculate the normalized difference vegetation index for any study area. So this is harmonized Sentinel 2A MSI multispectral instrument level 2. So the data set is availability is from 2017 to 2024 and the data set provider is Euro European Union ESA Copernicus. So this is the code we're going to use uh, to access our Sentinel 2A image, the Copernicus S2 surface reflectance harmonized. So now let us go through about the description about this particular data set. So Sentinel 2 is a wide swath high resolution multispectral imaging mission supporting a Copernicus land monitoring studies including monitoring of vegetation, soil, water cover, as well as observation of inland waterways and coastal areas. So now let us go through the different band that is available in this particular data set. So you can able to visualize here, there is a variety of band that is available in this particular data set, the harmonized Sentinel 2A image. You can able to see here, a different uh, uh, bands being available in this particular uh, data set. So aerosol optical thickness, and uh, there's a lot of uh, different uh, bands available here. So uh, let me get back to my uh, Earth Engine. So to calculate an NDVI for, NDVI for any study area, first we need to define our region of interest. A region of interest is defined uh, using a polygon. So to create a polygon for uh, any study area, for example, I'm going to focus this particular area here. In uh, So this particular area in uh, Thailand. So we're going to zoom into this particular area here. So now I have zoomed into this particular study area. So now I'm going to create a, uh, a study area polygon. So for that, we're going to navigate to this option here, draw a rectangle. So now I'm going to draw a rectangle over this particular study area here. So now I have drawn a rectangle this over this particular study area. So now let me add a name to this particular polygon here. So it is automatically defined in the top section as a variable geometry polygon with four vertices. So you can able to see this particular polygon has four vertices. So now we're going to define a name. So we're going to enter as ROI that is defined as a region of interest. So now have entered as ROI. So now we have defined our study area. So next we're going to import our Sentinel image and filter uh, with specific date and uh, study area. So for that we define variable S2 equals to double e dot image collection Copernicus S2 surface reflectance harmonized. And we're going to filter with a specific uh, date that is filter date 2020-21-2022-28. And we're going to filter with a specific study area fill dot filter bound ROI that is region of interest. And we're going to use a median function to acquire a median uh, image to acquire a single uh, image from this uh, from this timeline starting from this particular date to uh, from uh, February 1 to February 28. And to visualize the details of this particular data set, we define print S2. So next, we're going to compute our normalized difference vegetation index formula. Let me show you the formula. So here you can able to visualize for Sentinel 2A, the NDVI is uh, band 8 minus band 4 divided by band 8 plus band 4. So now let me navigate to our Earth Engine here. So here you can able to visualize, we have defined a variable called NIR, NIR, NIR equal to S2 dot select band 8. So we are selecting band 8 that is NIR band near infrared uh, region. So we have selected band 8 and for we defined a variable called red equals to S2 dot select B4. So the band 4 is a red band of uh, Sentinel image. So we are using this particular variable called S2 to access our Sentinel 2A image. So next we have to compute our uh, formula for NDVI just like this particular formula band 8 minus uh, B8 minus B4 divided by B8 plus B4. To compute this particular formula in, uh, in our Google Earth Engine, we define variable called NDVI equals to uh, NIR, NIR uh, dot subtract red dot divide NIR dot add red and rename as and output the layer name as a uh, NDVI. So next, we're going to extract with a specific study area boundary. So for that, we define variable NDVI equals to NDVI.clip ROI. So ROI here represents our region of interest. So we're going to clip using our ROI. 
So next we have to set up a visualization parameter for our NDVI image. So for that uh, we define variable called NDVI params that is visualization parameter equals to minus one and uh, max minimums we are going to set minus one and the maximum we are going to set plus one. The color palette for the specific images we are going to use blue, green, green and uh, blue, yellow and green. So last to add this layer to into our earth engine we define map dot add layer NDVI NDVI params refers to visualization parameter. So it refers to this particular variable called visualization parameter and output the lane as NDVI. So now we're going to run this code. Uh, go to this option here in the run, uh, run script. We're going to click run script. So now we're going to visualize our result for our NDVI. Let me turn to a satellite mode here. So we have our result here. So let me turn off our uh, ROI here. So now here you can clearly clearly able to visualize the result here. This is our ROI. You can able to see here. So now here you can able to visualize we have our result. And here the green portion of the region has a which indicates the indicates the high vegetation area here. You can able to see that. Let me turn off this particular layer. We have to navigate to the layer section and click this option. So here from the satellite image you can able to visualize here. The greener portion of the area as I indicated in clearly indicated in my NDVI image here, you can able to see that. So now let me explain about this particular data. So uh, general description about the NDVI, a well known uh, and widely used NDVI is simple but effective index for quantifying green vegetation. It normalizes the green leaf uh, scattering in near infrared uh, wavelength with chlorophyll absorption in red wavelength. The, way of the value ranges for, for NDVI is minus 1 to plus 1. So the negative value for NDVI corresponds to water and the value close to 0 uh, minus 0 0.1 to uh, 0 point plus 0 0.1 generally corresponds to barren areas of rock, sand or snow and low positive value represents uh, grassland uh, while the high value indicates the temperate and tropical rainforest. So it is a good proxy for uh, a live uh, green vegetation. So now let me get back to our earth engine here. So here you can able to visualize the green portion of the area which indicates the high vegetation areas compared to the other, pa other part of the area which indicates the barren areas and similarly you can able to visualize in this part of the area which has a water body here which is uh, clearly indicated here. So all the vegetation, the vegetative areas are clearly indicated in green compared to the water bodies are here indicated in the, in the grey uh, set of color tone here and barren lands are indicated in this set of yellowish color. So uh, the quotes will be included in the description. So in this video I have shown you how to calculate NDVI using Sentinel 2A image in Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.